Harvey is wreaking havoc in Texas. Historic rainfall has left southwest Houston with floodwaters rising 10 to 20 feet in one reported area. But how does two feet of rainfall become 10 feet of flooding? You might feel silly asking this, but it's actually a good question. So we know how a flood happens when water gathers in an area faster than it can drain. But the reason why it got so bad in Houston is actually a combination of factors, mainly because it's really flat, so water moves slowly and accumulates in the low-lying areas. Houston drains water through a bayou system, which are slow-moving rivers or water on flooded land, emphasis on slow. On top of that, lightning-fast economic development is replacing the prairie with pavement, which is a lot harder for water to percolate into and to drain. Adding all of these factors together with the incredibly intense rainfall, you get historic flooding with a catastrophic impact, which some experts are calling a 1 in a 500 year event. So the moral is, 5 to 10 inches of rain might mean a little flooding for the higher areas, but anyone on the lower ground is getting everyone else's rain. And once floodwaters arrive on flat land, there's little to do but wait it out. 